This week I'm joined by Evelyn, because this week it is... Chocolate! Chocolate! Who doesn't like chocolate? Yeah, who doesn't like chocolate? <laughs> we'll try three different chocolates at drastically different price points to determine which is the most worth it. You go! If you lay all the Toblerones in the world back to back, some of them would sink. Yeah. It is lovely. Look at all this. We're in Arlo. Damn. We're running late. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I woke up with the idea that I would take bars we enjoyed as children, but remake them with great ingredients. Dark chocolate smoothie, fruit and nut hunky dory, praline wonder bar, coconut hocus pocus, lovely fruity crunchy munchy. My name's James Ecclestone. I'm the founder of the Going Up Chocolate Company. We're standing in my production kitchens in Harlow. We have the very best ingredients. We're making an indulgent treat. We're handmade. Focus on the quality of what you're doing. Yeah, so it truly is a handmade process. Did you just get that off a tray? Mm. We don't mind the chocolate addicts. Salted peanut caramel is 40% of all our sales. First, making a cavity of 38% cocoa milk chocolate. We make a cavity because it has to be filled with fresh cream caramel. The caramel we make with concentrated butter, full fat cream, the glucose and sugar. Put that caramel in the bottom of the cavity we've made from the chocolate. Add some coarse sea salt, jumbo roasted peanuts. Then we cap it with peanut praline. We cap that cavity with more milk chocolate. And we robe it on the machine behind me. Goes through a chocolate waterfall, for want of a better word. Then we blow off the chocolate with a hot air dryer. After that, somebody decorates it with the chocolate sprinkles. The third person unloading the tunnel, boxed up for retail use and off to their destination. Today you're going to be trying the peanut salted caramel. Retails for about £1.95, maximum indulgence. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> indulge. Nice try, kid, but it's not for you. Two bars of sumptuous salted caramel. What does sumptuous mean? I like tasty or sexy. 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 You're yeah. sitting pretty Apart sumptuously right now. We've seen these go through the whole process. They did a better job on that one than that one. I guess that's the art of making it by hand. They're all different. They don't look yeah. exactly the same. This is a nice, heavy, solid chocolate, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's already touched the mouth. I can't cheers. <laughs> cheers. Rich, powerful chocolate. We have the hard chocolate on the outside, perfect milk chocolate. This chocolate is so buttery and yeah. instantly melt in your mouth. The salted caramel, which really is salted, it's not too sweet. Smooth, sticky, nice. That white stuff is the peanut, pure hard hitting peanut taste, it isn't is. it? Right? Kind of like gritty, slightly salty again. Balanced really well with the chocolate. All of the good things packed into one little bar, one big bite. Truly sumptuous, the joe of chocolates. Don't know if I want to eat this now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this next place has the coolest name of all places ever. Chocky Woggy Doodah in Brighton. I just picture working there and answering the phone. Hello, Chocky Woggy Doodah. Ah. It kind of sounds like a magical place. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually used to live in Brighton and I went away for a week and my roommate left my window open and I came back. There were like twigs on my bed and like it smelled really weird. Weird. And then under my desk, this massive seagull. Terrifying. Luckily, it was fine, but then I closed the window, and then he would come back, just like hammer on the window and look at me. Like, you're in my room. He stole his house. He stole my house. We're here in sunny Brighton in the middle of summer. Lovely English. <laughs> Just been mugged by a pack of thugs. You know, having a bad hair day, and it's not sunny in sunny Brighton. Brighton! The beauty with what we do is we stick chocolate to chocolate with chocolate. It's like an art gallery, but it's all made out of chocolate. It's all 100% edible. Pretty fun, right? So I'm Dan. We're at Chucky Wookie Doodah in Brighton. We're an art and design focused chocolatery. We pride ourselves on making cakes that like defy gravity. I noticed you called it a chocolate It's not a chocolate shop. Oh, we're not going to throw you out if you call us a chocolate shop. What's the difference? Oh, don't ask me it's that. I don't posh. know. It's, it's yeah, it's French. Yeah. <laughs> 
This one here took a team of four, three days to make. Holding his thingy. A lot of the magic happens at our studio. It is a top secret location. Do you have Oompa Loompas? We don't have Oompa Loompas. Ah. So today you're going to be trying our Chocky Wocky Rocky Road. It's quite a mouthful, as we like to say. Chocky Wocky Rocky Road, Chocky Wocky Rocky Road, Chocky Wocky Rocky Road! <laughs> She's a pro. <laughs> She's a pro. Literally everything that's fantastic on its own covered in chocolate. Nougat, honeycomb, coconut ice, jelly beans and marshmallows. We mix everything together in a giant bowl. We'll set that in the fridge. Once it's set, we drizzle it with molten white chocolate. Once that's fully set, we'll take it out and then individually wrap each bar ready for sale in the shop. So today you're going to be trying our enormous bar of Chocky Wocky Rocky Road and it's priced at $29.99. This isn't a bar, this is a slab. This is the... Oh, it's like I'm wrapping a Christmas present. Oh, you just get hit with the smell. Beast. So beautiful. Oh, oh look at the marshmallow. G. Oh. Right, that's your bit. This is my bit. What? I can see marshmallow, coconut ice, jelly baby thing, some fudge. Cheers. It's the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. It's not like an overload of chocolate. Physically heavy, <laughs> taste-wise light. Yeah. And the texture changes throughout. Soft marshmallow, coconut ice is more like a fudge, and the jelly beans are becoming sticky. Yeah, yeah. And the honeycomb's crispy. It's like a new chocolate bar every bite, isn't it? Yeah. It's becoming more and more difficult. <laughs> it feels slightly greedy. But what? satisfying. Sorry, but this is mine. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. Chocolate fact. In Mayan time, the cocoa bean was actually used as currency. What could you get for one bean? I don't know. It's like a tenner. <laughs> but what if they were different sizes? Oh, it was actually, is that? No, I don't know. Well, you need to find this stuff out. Is it a fact, man? What's the source for that fact? Don't tap your head. No. <laughs> So for this next part, it's kind of weird. When researching expensive chocolate, the most expensive is from a company called Toac that's based in Ecuador. You can buy it in the UK. UK! But Liz wouldn't let us go to Ecuador. I'm sorry. Joe, where's Ecuador? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we will not reveal where this chocolate bar is sold. We have to keep it secret. We're going in Harrods. Chocolate joke. Chocolate jokes. I was struggling to open my chocolate Easter egg. Eventually, I cracked it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh my god. Most expensive purchase of chocolate. Hi. Oh. I'm Carl, and I'm calling you from Toac headquarter in Ecuador. Toax tries to elevate chocolate on the same level as best whiskies and vintage wines. We work with a very rare variety, which is on the brink of extinction, called Nacional. There are indications that it's the oldest cacao variety on Earth. Take the beans into a drying facility. Once this is done, you do roasting. Rid of the shell, grind it into refined chocolate liquor, adding sugar and grinding it down again. It's like really smooth liquid chocolate. You know, the magic is in the details. I would concentrate mainly on smelling it. And once you place it in your mouth, let it melt and breathe through your nose. Same like with wine. This is when the magic happens. How does it start? What do I smell? What do I associate it with? So today you're going to taste our chocolate, which is priced at 300 pounds. This is the most expensive chocolate in the world. It's like you've opened the tomb. I feel like Indiana Jones. This is so posh. Oh, that's 300 pounds of chocolate right there. I feel like I'm touching gold. What are these? Little tweezers. This fancy contraption is it's for eating the chocolate because our hands are not worthy. Okay, let's take you off. Why are you whispering? When you're eating something so special, you whisper. Yes. <laughs> Harvest year, 2015. Like wine, there's a year for it. And what if it's out of date? Oh my God, what there's a that? bing in the middle. There's a bing. It's like a game of operation. <laughs> Look at that. 
I think just for the rarity of these beans, I think. Are we done? Oh, do you know what's also cool? This is super expensive, right? But it is just chocolate. Like, they haven't done any of the gimmicks, like paint it in gold or put it in a diamond. I mean, the packaging is beautiful and it's lovely, but it's much more to do with the chocolate. To me, it smells like this amazing old study with a fireplace and two big old leather armchairs, like some old books, and it's all warm and cozy in there. There's a glass of whiskey at the side, and, and there's just this old wise dog sat by the fire who just sort of looks up. That's what it smells like. Honestly, there's definitely a high. That's why it's so expensive, it's laced with drugs. <laughs> you drink wine, the initial taste is slightly different from the next taste, and it changes again, and then you have an aftertaste. It's exactly the same with this. There's fire, and there's ice, there's a heavy, there's light. Yeah, I definitely got some chocolate in it. The James Bond of chocolates, but effortlessly cool. Quietly epic. Quietly epic chocolate. I've got like 50 pounds worth of chocolate on my fingers. Which of the three amazing chocolates was the most worth it for you? I love the way Toa adds so much depth to the flavor. It was like having an incredible bottle of wine. Gotta say, gotta say, the grown up chocolate company. A real chocolate factory. I loved it. My winner, Chocky Wocky Doo Dah. So bad for you, so delicious. I'm obsessed. Oh, and we had such a good day there. Yeah, it was a fun we? day to yeah. the birds. <laughs>